The first one I saw was from memory around 1983. And uh, there was an estate here in Winnipeg, I can't remember whose it was, but it was a, a mixed bag of sort of life's accumulations and there was some art in it. And there was three Maud Lewis's in the collection, probably brought back as souvenirs. And uh, I basically had to look at what they were. My first reaction was, these are one of the kids painted these, which most people would think, you know. And uh, anyway, there was no interest in them anywhere in Winnipeg or in Western Canada. And from memory, I sold them to a dealer in Halifax for $1,000 for the three paintings. And it was probably 10 years later that uh, I actually had a few pieces for sale and they were about in the $1,500 range each at that time. I think it was two. And uh, I honestly can't remember where, where we sold them at that time. I, I might have again sold them to another dealer because often something comes up when you go to where the least path of resistance is and it's another dealer who has a market for them. And so, you know, then there was, there, was, there was pieces after that which Sean and I started selling, you know. We made, we made a pretty conscious decision. Um, so, um, starting after 2002, um, we started to actively, like, pursue them where we were uh, advertising, networking, looking to acquire them uh, and um, you know in the hopes of actually finding them sourcing them and then reselling them um, and so we would uh, uh, we recognized them as something which was we thought were you know uh, always thought that she was an excellent artist and you know an artist that was accessible uh, and and relatively available she was prolific so you could go out and try to find them and um, so we would run ads actually all through the Maritimes uh, wanted to purchase ads we would pick a lot of the local papers or even just the sort of community newspapers and we would just run little small ads and uh, we were always amazed at what we would turn up and um, and then in the age of the internet you know people would start to turn to the internet looking to search so if you go to our website, we've always we have a large selection of pieces online. You know, we show that we promote them, and so a lot of times now people will turn to the internet looking for information. You know, if you're a family that has some or wanting a value, but um, it um, the early days was quite interesting because you know most people most people that were selling them weren't always necessarily art collectors. They were often people whose lives intersected with mod and um, you know, and they acquired them or they inherited them. And, uh, you know, so the general routine would always be send a photograph, uh, get the measurements, assess the image, provide a value, uh, and then we work backwards there. We always bought them, so we'd always, like, offer, you know, make an offer to buy them from individuals. And, um, and you know, when you're dealing with regular clients that are kind of familiar with that process, it's pretty easy, you know, whether you're here or Vancouver or Calgary or wherever. But most people, they become other Maritimes and say, well, I don't know you. I'm not going to send you a painting. Uh, and uh, so, uh, and of course, we're not going to send money for something unless we have it. Um, so we networked with a few individuals. We had an antique dealer down in Chester, Nova Scotia named Wayne Cameron. And Wayne was uh, an amazing uh, ally. Uh, so we would always, we'd often send a check to Wayne and send the clients in to see him. He'd verify and look at them and say, oh, this is all great. And then he would, uh, <laughs> and he would pack and ship them to us. Our favorite way to yeah. ship a Mod Lewis is in one of those padded envelopes through UPS. <laughs> and, uh, and of course, we would say, well, you know, send us the waybill information and we cover it with insurance. And, you know, getting, sometimes getting people to literally do that was just like, you know, sometimes uh, endless phone calls. You know, look, trust us, if something happens to it, we cover it with insurance, full insurance of what we're paying for the painting. But, uh, and some people would figure it was almost sacrilegious to take a painting and put it into one of those envelopes and send it by UPS. But that's how we got a lot of our model as paintings. And the interesting thing was they always came with a story. They always came with a story of how they got it, you know. And we got some people to put it in writing 
And, uh, you know, often they would be children when they went with their mother to Maud Lewis. And, you know, Everett would have set 10 paintings out uh, along the side of the house and they bought one for $4.